Hi. Don't worry. It's just me, Dr. Raja. I'm here at the surgery center, Orlando Ophthalmology Surgery Center to be exact. It's the same day outpatient surgery center that I operate at. I like it because they specialize in eyes and have all the latest equipment and they know how to treat my eye patients. The day of surgery is usually the most nerve wracking for patients. So let's walk you through it a bit to make it less of an unknown. You'll receive a call at the end of the week prior to your surgery date, informing you of your arrival time at the surgery center. They may also go over any other instructions or inform you of any co-pays. Remember that because of the anesthesia you'll receive, you will need to arrange transportation to and from the surgery center, be that friends, family, or third party like Uber or Lyft. When you arrive, you'll be asked to take a seat in the waiting room until you are called to the front desk. You'll be given some paperwork to fill out, which you can return to the window when it's completed. Just wait patiently as you'll be called back shortly. Once you're checked in, a nurse will bring you into the pre-op area you will be assigned to bed. An IV will be placed and so will a plethora of eye drops to help dilate your eye for surgery. They will also have you sign surgical consent. You will eventually meet the nurse in essence who will be responsible for giving you adequate sedation to keep you comfortable. Our goal isn't to knock you out, but rather to give you enough medication to take the edge off, to put you at ease in a happy place. We want you awake and breathing on your own. Surgery is quick with minimal discomfort, and your cooperation will only help make this as smooth an operation as possible. I'll come by too to mark your brow and verify the site of surgery. They'll ask you that a lot, it's just a matter of policy. If you're having laser cataract surgery or a toric IOL place in the eye, the device will be used to mark your eye at 0 and 180 degrees or 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock if you prefer a clock face. Don't worry, it's painless. Everyone is brought to the operating room eventually, but laser cataract surgery patients are brought to the laser suite first. Let's head there next. In the laser suite, you'll be given some extra IV anesthesia if needed and placed flat and face up. After topical anesthetic drops are given, a soft contact lens-like apparatus is placed on the eye. It is important to look directly into the center of the ring of lights at this point. Suction will be applied in preparation for the laser incision. It usually takes about 30 seconds, and we'll be done before you know it. In the operating room, your eye and surrounding skin will be cleaned with an antiseptic, beta dime, and a sterile surgical drape will be placed on your face. It is important not to try to move your hands, to try and touch your face, or scratch your nose. I'm fine, really. I don't need any help. Once we start the surgery, you'll be asked to look directly up above at the lights. That's the microscope that I'm using to examine your eye. You may also hear some sounds, the whir of the Faker machine that we use to remove your cataract, or beeps from some instruments. Heck, you might even hear me singing, but you won't remember any of that. Don't worry, anesthesia will take care of that. I'll warn you of any potential discomfort during surgery. Some burning or pressure is common early on, but resolve within seconds. At the end of the surgery, I'll let you know that the lens is going in. There'll be a little pinch, as you get the steroid injection, and voila, you're done. The drape will be removed and you'll be transported to the recovery area where your instructions will be reviewed and you'll be placed in a wheelchair. Your ride will be notified and you can go home. Keep the plastic shield on for the next day's post-operative appointment in the clinic. After that, just keep it on for two more nights. You can shower the next day if you keep water out of your eyes. Try your best not to do any bending past the waist straining or heavy lifting over 15 pounds so to avoid any wound leaking and possible infection. You can walk, watch TV, and otherwise enjoy your new vision. I hope this video helped take some of the edge off of the anxiety you might be feeling. Don't worry though, as cataract surgery is one of the most commonly done surgeries in the US. I thank you for the trust you have placed in me as your surgeon, and I look forward to helping you see your best.